Hey, what is going on guys, British Fusion here and today I'm with you for another video and today's video is let's build Smith's Toys Superstore with the interior. So yes, this is part two to the build guys. I am so excited to build this and yeah, here is the inside. We've got all of the lighting in. I do wish that it was a little bit higher with the lighting, but because of like how the build was made and how happy I was with it like there's nothing I could really do with, about it but I'm not going to show you the outside because the outside is fully finished all the walls are of course added in and there is a little bit at the back area as well but I'm not going to be showing that until the final tour but yeah guys today we are going to be building the interior so the first part of the interior that we are going to be building today is going to be the till area and now for the till area we are going to need let's use yeah let's use this one so we got so i've got all of my like indents because of course i did use carpet because this light wasn't enough but i've got all of the indents where i want everything to be so this is for all of the tills and boom that is literally the tills added in of course we're going to add in the bit of design that does go with it so with the design we're gonna need what will we need we're gonna use it like a computer so let's get the pressure plates I like to use stone pressure plates and also we're gonna need a sign and also some paintings so if we put a pressure plate on each part of this and then we'll put this bit here and then this one right on this side and then two more here and then right here as well awesome and now the fun part that was really quick actually the f we have to put the paintings down until it shows the computer screen just like the one at the back like the first one i did awesome now just this one oh no i had it i had it then i got rid of it by accident that was a stupid move of myself but there it is that one's back and now the last one i'll bet the last one takes the longest because that's you oh no that was actually the quickest that's all right let's put in the railways bit because this hopefully if it does point in the right way i can have this for my no we don't need to take the rails it's normal rails hopefully if it ah oh, no that's not what i want it to do I wanted it to face this way because then it can be like a little cavea belt. Oh, actually, if I place it, if I place another one just going right here, it will be a little bit of a squeeze between each of the like aisles, aisleways, like where all of like the toys would be. But I think it can work. So we'll put another block here, here, and here. And then I don't know why I put a carpet down because it didn't actually need it awesome so that is i oh know that i've got detector rails there i oh know that is i did place down the right one right let's place it down here and here and then here and here as well so i think that is actually done for the tails so of course we've got loads of room because we're gonna still go with covid but yeah we got load of room and then you get your items here and then you just walk out of the shop awesome so now what we're gonna do there is a little bit of design that i don't want to build in yet because i want to have that as a little surprise and that's going to be whatever is going to be here so usually they have like a wall here this is what it's like at my smiths anyway so we're going to put this little wall here and then in the front window here it's like a load of like garden toys as well so like slides and swing and whatnot and yeah that's usually what is here so it's like another display area so that's probably there for when they gotta bring all of the, the trampolines and everything in so that's pretty cool and then if we put this one here and then if i get some yellow carpet and i'm gonna have to steal some stuff from the till area over here and we've put that there then this is going to be another like tail area but this is mainly for like returns that i'd like to say so yeah if you do have a 
like a faulty toy and it needs replacing. Let's find the middle. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Awesome. There's going to be three tills where you can get your stuff changed right here. And then let's get rid of this one and then put in the paintings. Hopefully I don't ever get like to the maximum of paintings got that one first try yeah hopefully i don't hit that because i don't want to do that i want to make sure that i've always got room for it and what i could do is actually put the smith's logo at the back there maybe right i've got the banners and now it's going to be a little bit off the middle unfortunately but it still will work it's only like one block because this is a six and obviously because this is an odd number I can't add in the add it in like in the middle unfortunately but still that looks pretty cool if I actually put it up one one more actually that would look even better so the M Y T H and an S awesome so let's get rid of these that looks awesome I like that that's a little nice addition to it awesome stuff so let's get rid of all of that and now it is time to work on the aisleways so let's just make them bland for now so for the making of the video i'm just going to make them a bit bland and then when we actually do the final tour it will show off like a lot more detail for like i might do like the wwe figure section i might like make that one stand out maybe but yeah let's get the the gray carpet and let's get one more let's get some smooth court stairs so we're gonna go one two three do i want to make it just one under it yeah i think that'd probably be best so let's do that for all of these and i just thought i can actually clone these so you guys can see a little bit of the clone in action so of course it's going to go right here and then these are literally going to go all the way down because that's literally how smith's does look which is awesome and i think i've got a little indent here yeah i do awesome so that is there and then if i get a barrier block so if i go command give at s light block no not light block i need barrier block so it's barrier and then uh, there we are awesome so i've got that one now i can place this down and the cool thing about black barrier uh, the cool thing about a barrier block is that you can't see it. So it goes like this and then like this. And yeah, that is my two shelves. So let's get on this side as well. Let's go all the way down here, all the way down here. And then let's cover these shelves in just like this. That looks awesome. I'm loving it. And then, yeah, if I get it cloned, so if I go here, and say clone negative two five zero and then 31 is the height and then two one zero just like that and then go all the way down here but go on the other side at the bottom and then let's go two three five two eight and then oh where am I? There I am. I pressed the wrong button. Right then, 212. Awesome. So now I need to find out where I need to place it. So let's start down here first because then I can just make the numbers go down. And then am I doing it up here? So you always got to do it when it's the negative numbers. You always got to make sure it's you got to do it on the big number side. So when it's descending, that's where you want to do it. So I'm going to be doing it right here so let's go 250 and then 28 and then negative 268 who do we appreciate boom awesome stuff and now this is 261 and then we are at 254 and then what's after 254? It is 247. I almost got blocked in there. 
And then 240. So it's going down in sevens. So this should be 233. Three. Yep. And then 3-3. Three, three. And then if we go here, this will be 226. And then one more after this. And then down here is 219. Awesome. So that is 219. That looks great. Loving it. Looks absolutely awesome. Awesome stuff. So I am going to be adding a little games bit over here as well. So what I could do is a little bit like this, but different. So if we go here and then go one, two, bring that out and then bring this all the way down just like this. And then how far does this one go? It goes all the way to here. So if we go here and then place that one back and then if we go down here. And then this is going to go all the way up the same as this. Actually, this one can go a bit higher, actually. One more higher. Because that's what it's like at the place. Anyway, it literally goes almost to the roof. Which is awesome. So, yeah, let's go down here. And then I will have to place down some blue wool as well. So, let's go all the way down here. Oh, so I am going literally just one block before the roof itself. So I'm, I'm going to need to get some blue wool. Let's get this changed and replaced for that. And then upside down stairs. And then the barrier block. And then the carpet. So we're going to just go as high as we can. Really, that's what I'm going to be going with as long as it's like just one. So it goes like that. So it's four shelves up here. And yeah, this is where you get like all your game consoles and like when the PS5 was out, you'll get that one. And then what is, so this is blue concrete, this one. Okay, awesome. So if we go down here and then down here and then I'm going to need to get this. Let's get rid of everything. Get this one, this one, this one and the sign. Awesome. So we're going to put just two on this one so we're gonna put one there and one there ah screw it we'll put one in the middle as well that is the middle isn't it one two three four five six one two three four five oh okay so there is so it's not the middle one two three four five one two three four five six oh, okay so there's no even ground there let's just put that one in free from that side and then free from that side awesome stuff and then you know what to do sign the sign and then painting as well and then we just got a little bit more to do over there it's literally just basically putting that but a lot longer like the aisles that we have done and Let's place the yellow carpet. This is looking awesome. I'm loving how this is looking. Right, one, two, three. That is correct. And now we just literally need that one, that one, that one, and that one. So let's place this one. And he's going to go same height as this. And if we go all the way down here. Just carrying it on all the way down until it basically stops me. Where we get to the back of the store. But remember we're not going to go in there today. Just because I don't want to show that off until the final tour itself. But yeah let's go down here. And then we're going to place down the upside down stairs. Once this last line is added in. And then we can add in the carpet. And also before the carpet actually we need to put in the barrier block. But yeah, let's put the stairs going all the way down. Hopefully, if you have been to Smiths, guys, hopefully it does... Like, hopefully all the Smiths are similar to each other. Like, to the like the layout. So you can see, basically, what I am going with. So, oh, is there something stopping me? I thought there was something stopping me. Right, let's go all the way down here. I know some of them are, like, overlapping already, but... 
that's absolutely fine because we're going to be going down this way as well. So we're going to go all the way down here. And all the way to the end. Awesome stuff. That looks great. I love it. Look at that. All the interior is finally added in. I know there is some bits that I am going to be added in later. Because I want like a bit of a surprise for the tour. And yeah, that is really it guys. I really do hope you like it. If you did, please make sure that you do smash that like button. And if you haven't already, please make sure that you do subscribe. Because soon I will be uploading a tour of this. It will be out near the end of the month. But yes guys, I've been Bridge Fusion. I really do hope you like this video. Leave a comment and subscribe for more. Peace out guys.